Everything that I do in my life is for the next generation. Because I remember the words of my father and I have a dream speech. When he spoke about me and my three siblings, that one day we would live in a nation where we would not be judged by the color of our skin, but by the content of our character while he specifically spoke about each of us. My father's work was about the next generation, ensuring that there would be a more just, humane, and peaceful world for those who would come after him. Our world desperately needs more women in leadership. We as women bring very important and valuable gifts, talents, and contributions and ways to operating in this world and what is taking place and starting here at Mercy is a revolution. You know, I've uh, spoken to audiences and we've looked at the word revolt and revolution and uh, my father said that a movement that only moves people is a revolt. But a movement that changes people and systems and institutions is a revolution. What will take place here and hopefully spread throughout this nation will indeed be a revolution because we will see changes in people, in perspectives, and we will see changes in our institutional structures. And so you ought to be proud to be in the number today as this endeavor is underway. It doesn't take a whole lot for a young person who has everything against them statistically to still emerge as a leader. All they need is someone to show up in their lives, to be present, to fill in the gaps and the voids to help in those areas of weakness and deficiency. And they can become all that God created them to be because nobody has been born into this earth by accident. Everybody is the answer to a question and the solution to a problem. And so thank you, Paul. And in your absence, thank you, Cheryl, for daring to step outside of the norm and being intentional about making a change in this world that is desperately needed. These are definitely revolutionary times. And I'm inviting each and every one of you to join the revolution. God bless you.